Hello, my certified fart smellers. Today, if you see what's on your screen, this is a volume mixer, and I'm gonna show you how to make it work on your computer. I hope. Anyways, go to the first link in the description and you'll see Rain Meter. Click on the big download button and you'll start downloading Rain Meter. Then next up, we need to go to the second link in the description. You will see this DeviantArt page and we are getting your mixer from Jack's Originals. He's made a couple things that have been shown on this channel. But anyways, what we need to do is make sure we're logged into DeviantArt, then click on the download button here and it should download this .rm skin file. We need to go to our file explorer, which mine does not look good because it's not themed. Anyways, we need to double click on the RainMeter EXE to actually install RainMeter. Just click OK, click Next, Install. Very quick, just click OK, Finish. And this is how it will look. Everything will look very ugly. What we want to do is we actually just want to right click all the ugly stuff. So the thing in the middle, click Unload Skin, go to the top right, right click, Unload Skin. Do that for every single one until it's gone. Now your desktop should look just like it was before. And what we want to do is we want to double click on that RM skin file that we downloaded. Then just click install and it'll pop up with this thing here. We actually need to install Jaxcore, which is kind of like the brains of the whole operation. So just click on Jaxcore. It'll install. It'll say downloading skin, yada, yada, yada. Kaboom. It'll pop up. Do all this cool programming stuff, which I have no idea how it works. But now we need to select a language. Now I want to actually be able to read, so I'm going to click English. So we'll have this little pop-up here, and this is kind of how you want Jaxcore to behave in terms of just all the background stuff. So you can have it check for updates in the background. You can check for updates on startup. You can just click all of them if you want. You can add this to your desktop. I'm going to add it to my program list. Then I'm going to click Hardware Acceleration because it makes Rain Meter and Jaxcore run faster. And, whoa. Oh. That was weird. But anyways, make sure all these bad boys are selected. Click continue. Then you can join the Discord server, watch them on DeviantArt. And finally, if you want to support Jaxcore, send them some coffee, my guy. Anyways, finish installation because I know most of you are broke, so I'm just kind of pandering to a dead crowd. Just click OK. Then you will see Jaxcore. What we want to do is we want to click on modules. Then we want to scroll down and you will see your mixer. Just click on that bad boy. I'm just trying to show you some cool stuff, okay? Just give me a break. Anyways, there's a change log. Don't care. Close it. And now let's actually get into configuring this bad boy. So first off, what you really want to do is click activate skin on the bottom right. God, Windows update. Are you kidding me? Come on on click close anyways once you click activate skin if you go to the bottom right and just click on your little volume thing you'll notice hmm that looks uh, a whole lot different and that's because it's you know the mixer application actually working you might not like this particular look so we're going to go to color scheme we're going to turn that on we'll click on it actually then we have a whole bunch of options so the first three are quite similar but then we have this one here which if i click on it then go to my audio you'll notice oh okay oh okay yeah, now this is pretty slick. You can move on down and you can pick this one here, which will kind of do the same thing, but blur the background. As you can tell, the background's blurred. So if I click on it, blurred background, it'll focus down here. That's nice. If you don't want a blurred background, then there's these little options here. I'm going to click on this one because it's got a nice little purple color. I'm going to click on the icon. Now, in terms of the volume mixer, you can adjust the volume like normal. You can adjust your chrome volume. It works exactly kind of like ear trumpet if you've ever used that before, but this looks uh, a whole lot nicer. We also have this little option up here to click on our headphones and we can choose which audio device we want to kind of output to. Now, let's say we want to fine tweak a couple of little settings like uh, where it's located, where it's the position, does it blur the background and all that other stuff. Well, that's what the rest of these settings are for. I'm going to start off with appearance because I feel like most people want to tweak how it looks first before they kind of commit to it. So we're going to go to appearance and we have a scale so we can make it bigger or smaller. In this case, my grandma would be using this and there is a little bit of weirdness, but that's because I have the module width as a fixed value. If I increase this and I two times it and if I click on it, kaboom, there you go. Now your grandma can use the computer. Anyways, we have sizing, then we have selections so you can show application names and the icons. I personally think that with this one, I'm not a huge fan of the name, so I can just turn it off. Now, when you do disable the application names, you'll notice that we have this little weird space here, and that's because this option here for the dimensions width of name list on the left, we just need to decrease that to something smaller. So I'm thinking like 60, press enter, open it up, and there you go. That looks very nice. Now it is a little off-centered, so I'd have to you know tweak it and spend 80 hours making sure it's perfectly symmetrical. That's good enough right there, but just keep that in mind. If you do, once again, enable application names, it will overrun, so you will need to reset this to a value like 150, and then you'll be able to read what the audio source is. 
Why did Chrome stop playing my super fancy dancy music that's totally copyrighted? There we go. Now, a couple other little settings I want to look at that don't pertain to coloring are mixer icon in the top left. If you enable this and just click on the icon, you can actually change the icon that shows up on the mixer. I personally think this one looks very nice. Then I'm going to click on the volume mixer and you'll notice I have that icon on the top left. You'll also notice that my volume mixer now says, turn it up, chief. And that's because if you scroll down a little bit, you can change the text to whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to change it to something a little more nicer because I never do the thumbnail stuff uh, at the start of the video. I always forget, so I got to change it to volume mixer. Back to the normal non-cool uh, name. Anyways, let's scroll down a little bit more and you'll see fill and coloring. Very self-explanatory stuff. You pick a color, you change it, and it shows up as being changed. So in this case, our accent color for our bars are this nice little purple. I'm going to change it to uh, maybe something like... Uh, this color right here. So how I did that is I just clicked on the eyedropper, clicked and dragged it to whatever color I want, click on my background, press OK, and now guess what? I open up the volume mixer, and it's that color. Like, I didn't have to worry about doing anything. That was really easy. Anyways, there's a whole bunch of different options you can mess around with. I personally really like the way it looks right now. I love it. Now, next up is more behavior stuff. We have position. So... If I click on the center, guess what's going to happen when I open the volume mixer? It's going to open in the center. If I click on the top left, that's top left, yeah. <laughs> You'll see it opens on the top left. You can do the same thing with the right. Basically, very easy stuff. I'm going to keep it at the bottom right just because it, for me it's familiar. It's something I like. And if you wanted to open it on a different monitor, all you need to do is just change this monitor index to 1 or 2. Or if you're really rich, 3 if you have 3 monitors. So that's just up to you. You just pick whatever monitor it's on. There's a couple other additional settings. Cool. Let's say you don't want to deal with all the button pressing of the volume mixer. Well, you can just enable use module as widget and it'll just show up on your background in your desktop. So if you ever want to change the audio, it'll always be there on your desktop. I honestly think not the best. So we're going to disable that. Now we have an activation hotkey. This is L -win Q, which is uh, left windows key and Q and it'll pop up. You have to hold it together. You can change the hotkey however you want. In this case, you can use Windows key as an additional modifier. I would highly recommend you do that. But you need to keep in mind that if you have a hotkey that interferes with Windows hotkeys, you might have an issue. So in this case, if I do R and press confirm, Windows and R will actually overwrite the traditional behavior of opening up the run window. Just keep that in mind. In all honesty, shouldn't be an issue. Just uh, pick some sort of key, click confirm, kaboom. There you go. It works. Now, if you look at this volume tray icon theme, you can see that my icon just kind of looks like the basic Windows icon. So I'm going to click on this little link here, and you can see I can change it to whatever I want. And honestly, I'm going with the colors, baby. Actually, that's a little hard to see. I'm going with the middle one. And as you can see, it's a different icon. You can change this to however you want. There's this applications and operation stuff. No idea what it does, and we're not going to worry too much about it. Finally, the last two settings before, you know, you have this whole program mastered. I think. Maybe. We have animate volume peaks next to slider. If I enable that, you'll notice that uh, you'll notice that I'm actually cranking out to music right now, and you'll have no idea because I'll remove this audio because I don't want to get copyright striked. Now, next up, we have animation easing type. You can mess around with this if you want. I know most of you probably don't care. Then we have background modification. Now, th this is where things get the spiciness, you know? Remember how there was a blur with some of the themes and this one doesn't have a blur and maybe I want my background to blur. All I need to do is just turn on this little check mark thing and we have different black, we have different black ground, blah, blah, blah. we got different background, blah, blah, blah. I can't, oh my gosh, maybe I cannot speak, I'm sorry. But anyways, we have different background blur techniques. If I click on it, there we go, we have the background that blurs. Try saying background blur like five times fast, never work, trust me, I, I always mess it up. Anyways, there's a different, I'm, I'm having a tough time talking. I'm actually having a tough, am I okay? No. Anyways, we have this background blur. All we need to do is just pick one of these options, open it up, and now you have a background blur. I personally do not want that just because I like being able to see what's going on my screen when I have the volume mixer open. That's all the settings that you can mess around with. So now you basically have your volume mixer. So you can close this, press left Windows Q, open it back up, kaboom. Now. Uh-oh, I closed that little configurator tab. How do we get it back? Well, just open up the volume mixer, right-click on it, and click Configure in Core. 
and there we go you're right back to your configurator that's something i need to add because uh i almost forgot and that would have been bad so to remove jack score if you want to keep rain meter in case you have different rain meter skins then you want to click on your file explorer go to documents then go to rain meter go to skins then you will see jack score you just want to click on that and press delete then you will see your mixer click on that and press delete and that will actually remove the skins from rain meter so next time you restart you'll be good to go. Now, if you actually want to fully remove rain meter and just go back to a non rain meter PC, all you need to do is press the windows key, type in rain meter, then click on install. Then it'll open up this thing here. Just click on rain meter, click on install, press yes. Then down here, completely remove all personal settings and files. If you enable that, it will remove every single piece of rain meter skin. So I'm going to click on that and click on install. Kaboom, click close. And guess what? We're back to normal Windows. If I press Windows Q, it's just going to activate the search thing here. Now, if you press Windows, you'll notice that you still have Jack score. If you just click on it, it'll say, oh, it moved. Just press yes. Now, if you press Windows key again, you'll notice Jack score is gone. It's that easy. Anyways, that's the end of the video. I've been holding in a fart since we started, and it's about a 30 minute recording session. So uh, I think I'm going to let it out now, but I'll do that after I end the video because I don't want people selling that on OnlyFans. Anyways, I love you. Have a good day at school tomorrow. Mwah.